Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass. Now today I'm off to meet up with my friend Sam Moores. Now you may have come across Sam on Instagram before, he has an account Sam Moores Photo, where he takes pretty pretty good pictures of cars if I'm honest. Um, but he also took part in the Euro trip post Top Marks last year um, in his very nice blue Porsche 997 GT3 RS. Um, he has a, a number of cars, Sam, but last week he picked up his new Porsche Cayman GT4. There has been so much hype around these cars. It has won awards left, right and centre. The price of them are going through the roof on the used market. But I've actually never been in one. You'd think that maybe I'd get a lift in uh, Shmi 150s, but he never offered. So <laughs> when Sam called me up and told me he just collected the car, I said, come on, let's go film a video, mainly so I can go check it out. There's an AMG GTS at that petrol station. Very nice. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go find him and check out what all the fuss is about these GT4s. Eagle-eyed viewers will probably notice quite quickly that Sam is now actually following me. <laughs> so we both live in London, but no one wants to film videos in central London because this is a nightmare. So we're gonna try and head ever so slightly out of central London. So we're doing a bit of a convoy. Oh, should I say that? I've lost him. Have you got lost already? If you see him in my rearview mirrors, that is actually Sam. That's not just another random piece of film. Now, if you didn't know this, the GT4 is incredibly low and has no lift system. So, I don't know why, but Sam has brought us down a road with endless speed bumps. I think he's crying ever so slightly. We're still not at our location yet. We're just trying to get out of London. <laughs> yeah, look, he's out Oh, this reminds me of when I used to have the 4C. We have made it to our destination and here, finally, is the GT4 in all its glory. Looking like an Arctic explorer. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. It was nice and you're not going to get warm, lost in, but that, now I'm, in now that coat. I'm, are you? I'm freezing cold, so I yeah, put it on. Okay, it's a puffer. <laughs> <laughs> so as I say, you may recognise Sam from the uh, post Monaco trip uh, at the end of last year, but you haven't really featured on my channel otherwise. I know we did that Sunday drive. Did I film that? No. Anyway, so this is this is Sam, who is now also on YouTube, the best thing in the world. Yeah. Um, as everyone is doing. So we're going to jump in the car in a second and go for a bit of a hoon. But after that, we're going to do a video for your channel, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm so, going to steal his car, basically. Which is very exciting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but just wait, quickly talk me through this, because you literally picked it up, what, last week? Uh, yeah, like a week ago. Okay, like a week ago. You're excited by that, because you drove Tim, Shmi 150s, up. Yeah, at the end Tim, of last when we were year. in Monaco, yeah. Tim said, come down, drive my cars. So um, he wanted someone that wouldn't crash them. And we didn't crash them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, amazing. So, I, so I drove the GT4 a bit and thought it was pretty awesome. And then not long after that trip, actually, I got back home and the guy I use at Porsche uh, rang me up and said, we've got a slot if you want one. Boom. So, and so, and so here, here it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, amazing. Right, I think we just better jump in and just go for a bit of a cruise. Fruity. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm not very good at getting in these cars yet. So it's just started raining, which I imagine is dream conditions for the GT4, right? That's actually pretty good because yeah. it's it's not got too much power, but it's got enough. It's got a, it's, <laughs> it's this definitely thing got is enough. Quick. I remember when we did that those drives towards the end of last year in Monaco, and I was following you driving this. It is like super glue around corners, right? Yeah, it is. It's got because of the Cup Two tires. 
Cup to Michelin, Cup to Tires. Michelin, but Cup to Tires, send me some tires, please. <laughs> um, then it, yeah, it, it does grip a lot. Yeah, it did look mad. Oh, there's a horse in the road. Oh, welcome what? to where, well, where are we? So we literally were driving through central London, quite miserable in traffic, took a right and have ended up in like a village from 1912. That's yeah, it's busy. Casual. It's very busy. That is so casual. Can I have a pint, <laughs> pint of Guinness, please, for my horse? <laughs> what a joke. Yeah, anyway, well, let's talk about this car because that is obviously what people want to know about. There's obviously so much like hype and excitement about the GT4. There is mad hype. Mad hype. And you've only had it for like three days, so I'm not going to ask you if it's lived up to that hype. <laughs> I don't know if you've really. I do. I've, I have driven one on Alpine Road. Sure. But, but not my one. Not your one. It's a very different it experience. Is. With it you yours. don't drive someone else's car, like you drive your own. No, 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 no. As we'll find out when we get on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> Manual. How are you feeling that? Manual. You, I, lo I, you love I, your manuals. I, you? I do like manuals. Mm. And it's quite a nice, in the Cayman and the Boxster, the manual gearbox, like the, it's quite the high. stick is like quite high mm. and it just falls to your hand. It's, there's lots of cars, it's like down there. <laughs> here, here it's just here. <laughs> just off. It's a really short yeah, movement yeah, from yeah, steering wheel it's to quite, it, The layout of the Cayman is really, really nice. All the interior bits. I like your yellow stitching, by the way. It's nice, yeah, yellow, it's quite nice. Yellow and, touches. And But if you want the... I don't know whether you can see this, I'm sure there's a little little yellow stripe let's, here. Let's show them what you're talking about. This 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 bad boy. Okay. You have to have say you had a grey interior. Yeah. You can't have the yellow stripe. Oh really? You have to have if you want a yellow one, you have to have the yellow stitching, and if you want a red one, you have the red stitching. Ah, uh, okay, that's annoying. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah, but I do like that central stripe. I do. Because you I like to know when my steering was straight. But anyway, it's not the most ideal weather um, or really location for a GT4 yeah. video, but no, but we'll, we'll 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 work on it. Yeah, we can work on it. Like it's not a normal Cayman. It's not a normal Cayman. It is a bit. I mean, even now at 22 miles an hour, it feels fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> and I, the th I think the big thing I noticed when I was driving in the South of France was how. I get out of the Cayman and I felt like I was in a very good 911. You used to have a Boxster, right? Yeah, used I used to have a Boxster. Back day. I test drove, so yeah. basically owned. Um, uh... <laughs> yeah. yes, YouTube probably thinks I own it. Yeah, a Cayman I, This is not a test drive, I promise. This is not a test drive. Yeah, we haven't rented this from a company. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I test drove the Cayman and I didn't actually fall in love with it because it, did, it wasn't enough of an occasion for me, but obviously this car with a massive wing on the back, it does sound good. I know you keep saying you don't think it's that it doesn't sound that loud, but I think it sounds, it really sounds good, quite this car. good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use the auto blip feature? No, so the auto the sport button in this car. The sport button, if I can you focus. cut clip. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> sport, look there. Sport. All that does in this car, which is different to the other to other Porsche models okay. is turn on the auto blip. So at some point, let's let's try and experience that now. Sam. Let's do it. Let's, okay, so I'm going to change up to the second, and then down to first, and it blips like a really anti-social. Yeah, but that's person. cool. No idea where we are. Uh, <laughs> this is Wimbledon. <laughs> yes. Take a left <laughs> to get more lost. Speed, speed bumps bump as well. Oh, speed bumps. Which bump. must be so exciting for you. you must yeah, be yeah. There's no lift on this car. Not an option. Can't have it. But I think this is all right. Oh! Oh! Wow! So, that so was I great, I but I got that. really nervous then. I was like, what? Don't do it for the video, Sam. Protect the car. <laughs> for you guys! Yeah, come on, I'm going to show you guys what it's like. <laughs> yeah, don't be a hooligan. No, no. <laughs> what was that about not being a hooligan? Uh, that, was, that was 30, 30 miles an hour. Well, 0 to 30 is very exciting in this and car. And actually, the gearing, that's, that's something about this car. Okay. The gearing is, is low enough, and that's what I love about sort of RS Porsches and things like that. The gearing is low enough that first gear you can accelerate in first gear, change up to second, and you're still like you're, like, you're doing like 35. Or okay, like fine. So on the change, in, unless, in unless a 40 mile an hour zone, it's great fun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or on like a motorway. So, what are your plans with this car? You're going to take it on any trips? Do you think? Is it just your bit of fun at the weekend? Because you've obviously I've talked earlier. You've got the. RS as well, right? Yeah. The beautiful blue RS. Yeah. So where does this sit? Like, which one? If it was a sunny weekend, which one would you take out? Oh, that's the oh. difficult decision, isn't it? Oh God. So this one, I think I will drive. I will drive more often than the RS. Oh really? I think because, just because of value and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. not as expensive. You don't worry about it too much. 
Not oh, as buddy. much. Um, the big one, actually, swapping between the two. This is much more modern. Okay. So the sat nav's updated. Your phone works better, like integration, yeah. stuff like that. Lots of convenience. Yeah, like just convenience, and it feels more modern. But the, as my first experience goes, I mean, I know we've just literally cruised around central London, so it's not really what a GT4 is designed for, but... Or is it? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. We have made it to our slightly dodgy car park in our Wimbledon village. Um, <laughs> I mean, that really was not the ideal place to take a GT4 out, just cruising around the streets of London, but no. I enjoyed it thoroughly, mate. I thought it was, I thought it was good, and congratulations, I mm. suppose. Thanks. We are now gonna go and film a video for your channel. So yeah, make sure you head over, follow Sam on Instagram, but also subscribe to his YouTube channel. There's gonna be a lot more coming throughout the year. I'm sure we're gonna be doing lots more. You're at everything anyway, so now you're just gonna see even see more video more content. Videos. Yeah, <laughs> another, another angle. <laughs> Which is really exciting. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. <laughs> we are in a Ferrari 430 16M. The roof is down and we have a clear road in front of us. <laughs> Today is a ridiculously good day. 